Some slappy? How's it going? I don't know. I just submitted two for missing hits. I'm new. This is I'm new since Fanatics took over, so I don't know how long that takes. I don't know, dude. Why don't you know? Cause I don't. Yeah, I just submitted the other day when we did that McDonald's. Some of the boxes had three autographs. Some had zero. Some had one. Uh, I had to beat my mat, so I did. What's up, Alan Burner? All right, so I'm going to start with impeccable. Grab that list. The brand new impeccable wrestling. You want to wrestle me? Maybe. Impeccable. So this one is Rob D down to Austin, dude. Where's my car? Austin, dude. 
Travis, good morning, Mr. Wiz, Joey V, watermarked it, nah, that's from my, my video is 15 years old now, <laughs> I was trying to think, I think I broke it, in, uh, 14, I think I broke it in 2010, I was trying to think how old that video is, it's been used everywhere though, Instagram, TikTok, People have had fun with it, you know, fun, fun. What's going on, Joey? Capillion, good morning. De Donde Eres? Tibor, good afternoon. Ramble. How many times has Diggs been traded today? I didn't hear. Going to the Texans at last heard, right? Did you guys, speaking of uh, football, did you guys hear about Vontae Davis? That dude was only like 35. He, he died from something. I didn't hear about that either. <clears throat> I didn't hear what caused it. All right, this is the brand new WWE Impeccable Wrestling. I ramble, I'll have to check that out. Nine times. What's up, Scott Stu? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boston, Carr, down to Brady, Matt. Nine times. Stickers on this side. I wonder why they didn't put it right there. Why is it on, like, yeah, I wonder why it wasn't right here. knows anymore why they do what they do. All I know is that I'm on the edge of glory and I'm hanging on a moment of truth. I'm on the edge of glory and I'm hanging on a moment with you. What's up, Dine? Good morning. This is one of those stainless steels. Four decoys. Empty. I think you get on, well, if it's like previous years, I think an impeccable sometimes. Well, I think that's in all sports. Sometimes you can get two medals. Uh, two of the bars. Occasionally. Not in this one because we got two stainless steels and decoys. 
Watch me say that and we get none. <laughs> There's no metal in here. Nope, it's in there. It's in there. We got one bar. Let's see who gets the what. What? Exactly. It's his brother, K-R, K-H, yeah. This one is 60 of 75, Damien Priest. Stainless Stars. Brady Matt, you strike first, dude. I was doing shoulders today, and I, my shoulder is tweaked, my left one. Whatever happened to you? 40 of 49, Triple H. Two medals go to the zero spark. spark. <laughs> Two medals go to the zero spot to start the break off. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. the hits 64 of 75 Bianca Blair relic autograph superstar worn used material so worn used okay uh, let's see Rob D you get that one oh my arm is tweaked uh, 81 of 94, Alundra Blaze, 1994. Okay, so they're going to number these to the year. She was shot down in a blaze of glory. Oh, man, this corner's got a slight issue. Uh, Austin, I guess you could send that back and show this video. It came out of the pack with a, with a bad corner. Um, or you can mash it down with a book. I'm not going to mess with it. 81 on that one. Kofi King Kofi Kingston Stainless Stars, but this one's autographed. Two of 99. Rob D. Rambo, are you talking about digs? <laughs> oh, I'm about to open another pack. Maybe I need to finish this one. 58 of 75. Umberto. Carrillo? That goes to Razor's Edge, Brandon. Redemption is Nikki Cross, Canvas Creations. I'll have to look that up and randomize. It's a thong relic. Do they have vertical kiss cards in these? Does anyone know? Bailey is two of 99. Bailey's about to drop a table. Enter the Sandman, 6 of 49. And Deuces, 22 of 35, R Truth Gold. Pack 2. The foil they use this year is thicker. We'll flip it and we'll go this way. Shotzi, 30 of 99. AJ Styles, 36 of 49. Oh, he's going to Houston? I didn't know that. Montez Ford, 4 of 25. First redemption is Eric Bischoff, Illustrious Inc. Card 14. So we'll have, we'll have some randomizing to do, it appears. Tommaso Ciampa. This one is 6 of 10. Giovanni gets that autograph. 22 of 25, Sonia DeVille. 
relic autograph. Iron Sheik. Hey, this is a sticker autograph. I thought all these were on card. I guess they all have been on card up to this point. Iron Sheik. 12. Damn, there's a lot of twos in this one. Seems like we've been getting a, a handful of twos. And the last one. 24 of 25. Booker T. Man, we need some threes, fives, sevens, and nines. Cards have been going to the same numbers. But it can all change in one pack. He's not signing anymore, Travis. <laughs> He's dead. Damn, another redemption. Like it's one redemption per pack. Eric, another four. Lots of fours, lots of twos. Oddly enough, is Rob D in both of them? Four and two. 57 is Braun Breaker. 57 of 99. Lola Vice, 17 of 25. The sevens be popping now. Two in a row. Uh, 5 of 10, Andre Chase. 5 of 10, gold. What's up, Adam Wee? How's it going, dude? Carl Anderson. 8 of 75, relic autograph. John Hacksaw. 62 of 75. Another deuce. So many deuces. Eo Sky. That's one of those. Um... <laughs> He's the CEO of the gravy train. Another zero. A lot of stainless steel went to the zero. 20 of 99. Well, we got three more hits that we have to randomize to whatever number they are, so everybody will have a chance. This one's Elegance Memorabilia Autograph Silver Charlotte Flair. So we have Nikki, Charlotte, and Eric that we have to randomize. Here's where the metal goes. <clears throat> What's up, Chad Schrader? O. E. Ah. Sid. It's a silver. 7 of 35. Hey, 7 only have base cards. Razor's Edge, Brandon, you hit a silver bar on the end. Alright, now let me do the randomizing for these three redemptions. <clears throat> First one we opened last year, we got a gold bar and one of one. I already forgot of who, though. So we need one, two, three randomizers. Now we go to Panini. Let's see, WWE 23, Panini, Impeccable, let's see, the first, we'll just put Charlotte Flair, Elegance, Memorabilia, Autographs, Silver, Elegance, Memorabilia, Autographs, Silver, right there, and these appear to be all numbered to 49, so, what number was it? Card number 77. Which is right there, which is numbered to 49. So, first randomizer is to number to 49. Let me grab the numbers. I got a number. How do you like them apples? I hate them. Alright, so the first randomizer is locked and loaded. Now let's check. The second redemption is Eric Bischoff, Illustrious Inc., card number 14. Illustrious Inc., card 14, right there, number to 75 on this one. Oh, no, hang on, I got you. 75, so now we pull up the second randomizer, 75 numbers on that one. 
And the last one here is Nikki Cross, Canvas Creations. Canvas Creations signatures. It looks like all these are numbered to 75. Nikki Cross, card number 475. Mm -hmm. So, drop that again. Now we got everything locked and loaded. Let me get rid of that. And we'll just start with the first one, which was numbered to 49, which is Charlotte Flair. What's up, Brady Matt? How's it going, dude? All right, the original click was nine times. We're going to click this nine times. Whatever number is on top after nine times will be the serial number of Charlotte Flair. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, twenty-seven. Damn, seven had nothing going for it. In the last pack, it got two base, a silver card, and a redemption. It's twenty-seven of. Oh, things slid sideways. It's twenty-seven of forty-nine. Nine times. So I'll put that one in the seven. Now, the next one's number to 75, Eric Bischoff, Illustrious Inc. Once again, click it nine times. Whatever number's on top will be the serial number of the card. Seven, eight, nine. Thirty-seven. The seven from nowhere <laughs> in this last round had nothing, and now it's got everything. Another redemption. Going to Razor's Edge, Brandon. Last one. This one is Nikki Cross. Nine times. Whatever number's on top shall be the serial number of the bird. 55. 55 of 75. Seven times. And 55 was Kevin Zip. All right. That's it. Thanks, everybody, for jumping in. If you did go hitless in this one because it was pricey, one spot only got one card. Zero got three or four. Seemed like the numbers didn't separate out. Um, I'll have to toss you in something. Thanks, everybody, for jumping in that. Hopefully you had fun. Nice looking cards. We didn't get any monsters, though. The two and the four got the most cards. All these went to the two and the four. That's like damn near a whole box worth or more. One, two, three. It's nine cards per box with three base. One, two, three. There's ten cards in these two spots. Let me see how many were base. You need three base. Ah, four were base. But... He had one extra card. So yeah, Rob D basically got a whole box of cards with those two numbers. Four base cards and six hits. You got one case left, Don. You guys want to run it back? What's up, Marcos G? Did I not click it nine times? Oh, damn it. You're right. <laughs> Thanks for, I clicked that seven. Why? I did do nine on the other ones, right? All right. I got to click it two more times. I'll make a separate video. Chris Stakes this early? Why? Uh, Jesse, it starts next. Um, I'm bringing the randomizer back up. I did not complete that uh, last redemption. The Nikki Cross, I think. Does anybody remember what the last redemption was? Four? Anyway, I'm supposed to click it nine times. As you can see, the original click was nine times. And as you can see, the first redemption for Charlotte Flair was nine times. And the winner was 27. And the second redemption was for Eric Bischoff, as you can see, 37 won, and it was nine times. So the Nikki Cross, I was supposed to click it nine times, and for some reason, 
I stopped at seven. So I got to click this two more times. I got to click again two more times, and that will see who wins. So number eight, nine, 21 won. Sorry about that. Kevin Zut, I got to take that back away from you, and I got to give it to Austin Carr. I believe he was in the one spot. Now you can see it is nine times. Stop too short on that. You stopped short with my wife? All right, thanks. So, got to take the Nikki Cross back away from Kevin, and I got to put it in Austin Carr's stack. Sorry about that, Kevin, if you happen to still be watching live. And congratulations to whew, <laughs> the under 30 minute Chris Steak. All right, let me see. This was number six, Giovanni. Number seven, Razor's Edge. I don't know why I stopped at seven. That didn't make any sense. Thanks for pointing that out there, Brady Matt. I ain't got a good, good, good brain. Oh, yeah, if anybody does get those, Jesse said he didn't get his uh, hoops cards. And it did have a base teal of Wet Wendy in there. Which I'm compensating him for that, but it was a confusing order because I shipped, but then I think I voided and combined because it said the label was canceled, yet Jesse said he never got them. So if anyone by chance did get those, if you could let us know, that would be fabulous. Brady, Matt, I got footballs around here for you. Oh, there they are. All right, I'm going to do those last two tribute baseballs next. So this is Jesse C. down the Hub City. Oh, Ronnie G., if you're here, I shot you an email. Ronnie gone. I meant, no. Um, Ronnie, shy Ronnie, not D4 Ronnie. The other Ronnie. Oh my God, Ronnie. I forgot who went hitless in that one. Uh, so I'm going to have to send, uh, that was an expensive break. I'm going to have to send, uh, oh, by the way, in the top Sterling, we got two in, which is one box, one box right now for random hit. It's a kind of a pricey break, but we do have two in. If anybody else wants in, for every two, we could add a box. It is, um, I forgot to mention that, it is Pat G. 
Pat G and Utz, if you're here, I'll have to toss you guys in something. I got your names written down. That was a pricey break. Sorry you didn't hit. What'd you kill Jesse Fur? <laughs> he reimbursed me with stories and feet pics. Scotty T and them don't come around no more. The old crew don't come around. The Pal Z's and the Scotty T's, they're gone forever. Um, there's something else I needed to grab before tribute. Oh yeah, I got it. All right, so these are uh, this tribute break. We'll, we'll be basically seeing what High left over. He left one box from each case unopened. These were the last two. So. We'll see what High said he did not like. These are the remaining two boxes, one from each case. Sandy, your uh, your uh, Sandy's pad. You're sh you're shy, Ronnie, right? I shot you an email. You got a Diamond Kings and that last Stranger Things, and you got two Diamond Kings. Someone actually came in the store and got one the other day. I'm down to only one box for Diamond Kings. Actually, only one for Stranger Things too, but you only got one of those. So, I shot you an email. Just let me know uh, if you wanted to um, sub one of those boxes out for something else. Or you just want to break the two and refund one, or however you want to do it. It was those damn four sided die? He didn't like the four sided roller coasters. Sided roller coaster crashed. He didn't like that. 2023 tribute. Uh, two box. Actually, the last two boxes. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna click it five times. Zeros, yo.
you want to switch Diamond Kings for Heritage High number, you wouldn't owe me anything. I would still owe you some money, but I can do it. You got a Diamond King and a Stranger thing. I thought someone just came in. You must be hearing things. Let's see. Hey. Oh. We got Hammer and Hank, 80. First hit is Ryan Mountcastle, 26 of 199. First hit of the break goes to Greg in the MN. And Mel Ott, 49. Corey Seeger, 21. Jose Ramirez, 61 of 150. Shawmer, that one's yours, dude. Alex Bregman is three. Bo Bichette happens, 26. And 14 of 50, Garrett Cole, game used jersey, stamp of approval. Greg again. Don't just stand there, bust the damn pose, E. What's up, D-Man? Bust him. Oh, it's no big deal, Jesse. That's nice of you, though. 69, Juan Soto, and Tori Hunter, 67 of 99. John, that one's yours. Luis Robert, 36. Mookie Bat, 63. Chipper and Ronald, 83 of 150. Jason Penn, dual game used bat. Ichiro is 37. Masataka Yoshida is 5. And John Crook, 004 of 150. Greg, that one's yours. Mike Trout is 55. All right, last box coming. Mr. John Crook, Yogi Berra, 27, and Ozzy Albies, Triple Bat, 98 of 199. Hub City, Triple Bat, Frank Thomas, 52. Clayton Kershaw, 61. Chicken Man, 48 of 150, Wade Boggs. Uh, Hub City, you get the Wade Boggs in the eight. A.J. Smith Shaver, 54 of 75. And that goes to Greg. <laughs> Spencer Strider, 28. 48 of 50, Adley Rushman stamp of approval jersey. Hub City, you're getting all the hits in the eight. And Mariana Rivera, zero. Derek Jeta, zero. Pete Crow Armstrong, rookie, 92 of 99. Nolan. That one's yours. And Larry is 22 as well. <laughs> I'm done. Chris, I'm going to be terrorizing number two at the end of the month. Oh, yeah, I do. D-Man, I'm typically at the store. I just read that. 
I'm typically at the store 8, or 8 to 8.30 in the morning. Hey, what's up, man? Okay, thank you. 76 is Ernie Banks. You're late today. <laughs> I appreciate it. See ya. 47 of 50. Derek Jeter A-Rod dual game used bat jersey. Okay, you got it, uh, Ronnie. Jordan Alvarez, we got an extra hit in this one, 66, and the extra hit is Shane Bieber, 120 of 150. Ooh, ooh, Shane Bieber, last chance. Bryce Harper, 13, and Kenny Lofton, 109 of 199. Jesse, you get who, who killed Kenny. Thurman, 46. All right, that's it for those two tributes. Thanks, everybody, as always. <laughs> oh, what's up, Francisco? How's it going? I'm like, you're late today. <laughs> he usually shows up. This, this guy, I get like two or three FedEx drivers weekly. This guy, Matt, usually shows up at 10.30. That's why I was saying, you're late today. Hopefully he knew I don't care. It's not like I had anything of importance in there. I appreciate everybody for jumping in on that one. Sean Murr. Six was Greg, four was Greg, Greg, I got a bunch of reloads out there by the way, oh D-Man, you're one of the ones in that uh, tribute, that I meant tribute, Sterling, that break is kind of pricey, right now we're at two people in, you and John, so if we don't get any more action on it, we will go from a fresh case, roll for the box, and then roll to see who gets which hit, left or right. It was a little pricey. I was hoping we could do more, though. Just because the cards, the possibilities are endless. But it is a pricey one. Who you play in number, uh, who you play in number two with? Like, work, or are you doing it by yourself? Oh, cool, Francisco. You want to do it now? All right, we'll do it now. Let me uh, let me um, number the. Um, let me just put labels on these. We'll do it now. John and D Man can chop a box. Maybe it'll be the best box in the case. What number did I say that was? Number seven. Oh, that's John. I already got John right here. Number three is Jason Penn. What does that mean, Rolex Partner Invitation? You are for Rolex? I know they sponsor all the stuff around here. The US, Ladies U.S. Open, all kinds of stuff. Hub City was 5 and 8. Which is Edgar. Number nine was what you kill Jesse Fur. Hey, Jesse, you got Kenny. So what'd you kill Jesse Fur got who killed Kenny? That's weird. What'd you kill Jesse Fur? Who killed Kenny? <laughs> weird. Brady man, I got all yours down here. Oh, it's a 
know people. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about you were partners with Rolex. I was like, I didn't know you worked with Rolex. Yeah. All right, John and D-Man are going to do random hit on a box of the brand new Sterling. Let's see what all the fuss is about. We got some uh, crazy cards in here if we get lucky. That's key though, getting lucky. I'll grab the case. Oh, after I do this, I'm going to go through and I'll show what reloads came in. It's three cartons full of stuff. Starts at noon, ends at six thirty. <laughs> they kick you off the course. What for drunken behavior or for hacking it up? Actually, I don't know how you're going to be able to play number two because they're not letting hardly anyone play it, right, D-Man? The U.S. Opens in early June. Oh, you're at the end of April. Yeah, never mind. I was thinking it'll be the end of May. Never mind. Never mind. I was thinking end of May. They were going to probably let shut it down sometime in May and just completely. They're already doing a lot of precautions for it. Uh, John Flea was first one in, then D-Man. I'm going to put both of you guys in twice, and this will determine whoever's on top will get the left pack, whoever's in, uh, whoever's, uh, in the not on top will get the right pack, because it comes in packs of two. Oh, it does? $74 triple threads? This is sterling. Alright, I put up a top sterling random hit. This was somewhat of a pricey break, but uh, for every two spots that get in, uh, we're going to add one box. John and D-Man were the only two that wanted to try it. So then we'll get a box from a fresh. I'm going to click the randomizer. There's a left pack and a right pack. Whoever's on top will get the left pack. Whoever's not on top will get the right pack. That will decide. Matter of fact, I'll do that now. We'll click it eight times. If you're on top, you'll get the left pack. If you're on not on top, you'll get the right pack. Eight times. I'll put your name in twice just so we have something more than two things to randomize. So D-Man, you'll get the left pack. John will get the right pack. Eight times. from a fresh. Caught two hangers, Sarge. Ugh, just gonna cut it.
backwards. Here we go, one to four. Bottom one. Autograph relic card number to 25 or less or one or unique one of one relics. Back in the day, and that day was a Tuesday, they used to put sometimes multiple one of ones in one case. Do they still do that? Left side was D-Man. D-Man, you get Yankee greats. And the right side was John. John, you're going to get 2010 MLB All-Stars. Mike Trout in here. Derek Jeter in here. Start with D-Man's pack. Um, Yankee greats. Not super fat. The super fat sometimes are a lot of those are one of ones. Can't see through it this year. Easy, don't choke. Place for the Yankees, and it is 18 of 25 rookie. Pretty nice, Jason Dominguez. Hey, isn't that the same card on the sell sheet? I don't know if 18 or 25, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the sell sheet cards, like when they're showing the variations of cards you can get. There you go. D-Man, that one's yours. Only 25 of those. Rookie. 2010 MLB All-Stars going to John. <laughs> He's already a Yankee great. No super fat. Got something. Oh, I did. And it is. Hey, it's for the Yankees again. 24 of 25 double pinstripe jersey Garrett Cole. It was a Yankee hot box. Dominguez and Garrett Cole. Game used. I'm assuming everything that has to be game used in this. Alrighty, that's it for D-Man and John. I appreciate it, guys. I'm on the edge of glory and I'm D-Man, I still have your cards here. Don't I? Yeah, I still do. Your F1s and stuff. Just so you know. You told me to put him to the side. You were doing a lot of traveling. Wally Joyner? <laughs> well, calling his career before it happens, I need to make some stock picks. What's up, sci fi guy? By the way, the checklist just, uh, came out late last night. Brady Matt texted it to me. I checked Top's website and it's on there. They do have a full player's checklist now. Keep holding. All right. Deliver it in number two. Um... Next up is double pack Bowman Draft Light, but before I do that, I did want to see what was in these.
I never ordered these by heart. I gotta update the website too. Panini Prism 2324 basketball, but the blaster variety. This is 16 cases, something to do with football. Oh, 23 Prism draft picks, Prism football. I'm almost 100%. Prism. Here's some loose court kings. Oh. Six boxes of 23 24 court kings. Level four Wendy's in there. He was this close to getting a quadruple double last night. This one is 23 racing. I think this is Chronicle Racing. Somebody was asking for more racing. I got Prism and Chronicles. I think it was cheap. Illusions Football Hobby. Hey, Impeccable Wrestling just came out. Here's a case of Impeccable Football. Half case of Limited Football. Prism Hobby Basketball. Zenith Football. Prism Racing here. Oh, and that 23-24 Panini Hoops, that Asia that everybody liked. Oh. That was it. Just need to add this to the website real fast. And then we'll do uh, that... Bowman Draft Light. Oh, if anybody else has a uh, group break idea today, let me know. Anyone? The only one we have, actually, we ha well, I could leave the Sterling up if two more people want to try a box. That's one way of splitting a box with someone. One way of doing it. sheet. I just added Impeccable back to the website if anybody likes Impeccable Football. Just trying to reload some uh, 23 football.
This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Say I'm alright song. What would you guys do for a Kit Kat bar? Limited's on the website. is back on the site. Lots of 23 football. And some 23-24 basketball. Prison draft back on the site. right down the line for you guys. I got a couple more breaks to do. I'll just try and I'll just try and um Alright, Zenith is on the website. A lot 
of these boxes are cheaper than when they first came out. I'm noticing. Shouldn't be, but about another hour, hour and a half, I'll have this done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm down to the last six. I was scanning pictures for the website, too. sure this was the right president. Thank you. 
I want to see what these prisms are called hobby blasters look for autographs and all kinds of silver prisms three greens anyway I put it back in the case Whew, I'm getting winded doing this all right so court king is up next up hoot Asia that should already be on there Uh, D-Man, I hit you back. All right, Asia is on the website. Prism is on the website. Core Kings. 23-24 Prism Hobbies, the good stuff. Almost done for real, guys. Sorry for this little wait. I just wanted, in case anybody wanted any of it, I needed to put it on the website. Am I right? What are you talking about? I don't know. Prism Hobbies back on the website. Just two more, Prism Racing and Prism Chronicles. I'll update the books later once I get caught up. I was just trying to get back on the website. Prism Racing is back on the website. Last one was Pr uh, Chronicle Racing. And then I'll just read off uh, everything that came in in case you were wondering again. And it should all be on the website.
All right, Chronicle Racing should be back on the website. Don and Don, son. Next up, D-Man Dustin's going to do those last three, Sterling, and then we'll do Bowman Draft. Obviously, Sterling is, a, is able to go in front. <laughs> Hadn't had a line jump in 30 years. You all right, I got it all done. Woo -wee. That took a little longer than I thought it would. Um, D Man Dustin's going to polish off this case. Here's what just came in Tabletop Geek, what's going on? Probably missed half the chat, so if anybody asked anything of uh, major importance, repost it now. Quick, someone tell Chris a story. If they can't see it, they can't buy it. I agree with that, Travis. <laughs> Good sales strategy. Hi. How's it going, dog? All right, here's the reloads. 23, impeccable football. A lot of 23 football. Uh, impeccable is um, a seal case. Limited half case seven boxes of limited football 23 23 illusions football a case of prism draft football all this is 23 zenith football 23 then for 23 24 basketball and all the Wimby cards court kings hoops asia prism basketball I never had this one prism basketball draft i'm in hobby hobby blasters and then prism hobby and then the last one with two were 23 Prism Racing and 23 Chronicle Racing. What's up, Ventura? Um, I'm going to get caught up here for a minute. Uh, and maybe we'll add another one. A Bowman Draft. All right, D-Man, ready to do it? D-Man's going to polish off these last three. But those were the reloads. They all should be on the website. I still need to put them away. They're all sitting right there and up there. I've got them piled everywhere, but I'll get caught up on the brakes, and then I'll start putting that stuff away. Anyway, it was about 10 or 12 reloads that just came in. As far as new releases, Top Sterling is the only new release. Oh, no, and Impeccable Wrestling. And I still have those as well. I have another case of each one of those. If anybody digs on the new releases. Immaculate football, by the way, got pushed back to Friday. I do have some coming in. I thought it was coming out today, 
but it got pushed back until uh, release day is now Friday. Now, either we heal as a team. Oh, yeah, I got to take tribute off the website. Thanks, Hi, for reminding me. We broke the last two boxes, Hi. We had to see what you left behind. Rewind the live feed if you want to see. You left one box from each case, and we put it in a number spray. Yeah, I forgot to do that. That was more than last, too. Let's see. Tribute, baseball, hobby, draft, save. All right, it's off the website. Thanks for letting me know that. Hi. Now, D-Man's going to... Where's my blade? Here it is. D-Man Dustin's just going to do these last three sterlings. All right, here we go, D-Man. Going to polish off these last three Sterling Baseballs. Tell you what, D-Man, we'll get all the packs out, and then uh, you tell me which ones you want to open in what order. <laughs> First one is 500 Home Run Club and Silver Slugger. Tell me which, which ones you want to open and in what order, D-Man, once I get all six out. I can get it open here. World Series Champions and Rookie of the Year Award winners. Silver Sluggers. I hadn't seen this one before. Sterling Icons. So we'll put the Silver Sluggers together. And then you got Rookie of the Year Award winner, Sterling Icon, World Series Champion, and 500 Home Run Club. Which one of those you want to try first, D Man? You pick. Icons first. All right, Sterling Icon is the first of six packs. Let's see if we get a fatty. If we get a fatty, it could be a nice one. Nope. No fats. And it is Ellie De La Cruz, two of twenty-five, double jersey rookie. He's a Sterling Icon? But it's his first year in Sterling. And he's already an Icon. Where do you want to go next? That's who High was chasing in tribute with Ellie De La Cruz. Nice hit, yeah. Oh, Ellie. We haven't had a card numbered under 25 yet. My guess is we're due. <laughs> Yankees great, Allie. Just knocking them down. So I'm going to go two silver sluggers first. Back to back silver sluggers. This one is Paul Goldschmidt, 2 of 10, Bat Jersey Autograph, Triple Relic. That was Silver Sluggers number one. Where's all the fat ones at? Some of these cases, there's like a bunch of fat ones. Clark, 
7 of 25. All right, those were the two silver sluggers. Paul Goldilocks so far. Will, oh, wait. And Ellie De La Cruz. Oh, hmm. Ask her up. World Series champions. Still no fatty. Damn. Can't get this one open. And it is Kyle Tucker. Where? In the bed. 13 of 25. 13 double jersey autograph D man on that one. 500 home run club. Is this going to be a no fatty case, you bastards? <laughs> I'm just kidding. George Brett. Nineteen seventy nine, twenty nine triple, uh, twenty triples, fourteen of fifteen. Game used jersey bat autograph, and your last one is rookie of the year award winners. No fats in the whole case. That sucks. I want to see a fat one. Just for the sweat. I bet some of the cases have multiple ones and then some don't. Corbin Carroll, 2 of 25. The young guys were your best ones. Corbin Carroll, Ellie De La Cruz, and Jason Dominguez were probably the youngest. They were the coolest ones there you go d-man dustin i appreciate it buddy no one of ones in that case what's a girl to do i appreciate the break though old d-man dustin i'll put it with your stack just let me know whenever you want it Sterling, but a lot of the in the last two years, I should say. But the ones we did open, we opened a few cases. Every one of them, it seemed like, had one. Some would have two or three. If you know tops, though, their cases run hot, run hot and cold. It seems like some cases are really hot, some are not. Maybe the next one is the hot one. D man, you want it? <laughs> He's like, I'm good. I said I'm good. Right. There's a couple of personals that came through, but it came after this Bowman draft.
mess out here to clean up. I'll do that later. I'm going to grab that draft light. Don't speak. I know. Yeah, D man, I'm the same boat. You got some nice, nice young dudes. I was, I was hoping for some crazier one of one or one of the bigger name bats. That's the fun part. Just never know. The possibilities are endless. Here we go. All right, this is Bowman Draft Light. Uh, Brad and them wanted to try this. I'm going to take both boxes and just mix the packs, restack them into two stacks of, um, wait, four stacks of five each. And then whatever number you are, you'll get the four across. Bowman Draft Light. We have not seen an autograph from this case, so that tells me we're due. Or not. JD down to Randy, you get the bottom eight packs. Eight times. like man ass <laughs> how come every movie I pick's got naked man ass in it uh, JD these are yours. it wasn't bad it was a little obviously if you I mean it's the fight scenes are ridiculously silly that it can never happen in real life and a lot of the stuff that happens it's like nah it's a little over the top but it was all right Jake Gyllenhaal is cut up. That dude got his workout on for that flick. Jackson Holiday, Air Apparent, Dylan Bieber's Refractor, Cheerio. Cheerio. Hi, Dustin said he'd split it with you. You in or out? From a fresh. You guys can play Pack War. Wouldn't that be fun? K 
Kevin Parada, William Bergola, and base. Yeah, I saw Ricky Stenicki. It was funny. With John Cena. I thought that thing was, it had a lot of, uh, when he was singing those dirty songs, that had me almost crying. It was so funny. He's a funny guy, John Cena. Kumar Rocker, Jake Elijah, James, and Dave. Young, Barco, Green, and Bennett. Munoz is the... Ref oh, stack slid down. And Sam Munoz is the first Ray Wave. All right, JD, them's yours. If it doesn't say Roadhouse while roundhousing, <laughs> I'm out. There's a couple roundhouses in there. Some of the things that happen, it defies the laws of life and death a lot. I don't know, you have to watch it. I don't mind a slightly unrealistic, but all that stuff couldn't have happened. But other than that, it was all right. Christian Vaquero. Wellman Diaz Ray Wave number two goes to Mr. Tim High. And base. Out the club, you just got here. Lips come, he's on the hot list. Just as papered up. Brooks Lee. Elijah Green. There's a Jackson. And Clark Elliott Raywave. I don't watch them for realism, but it's, you, know, you watch the movie, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's like a lot of it's over the top, ridiculous. I realize most of those movies are going to be a little nutty. Jose Ramos, number to 50. Zach Neto, Cesar. And base. Christian Vaquero, Gavin Crisscross, Dylan Ray, Jordan Streetwalker, and Bates. All right, Tim High, those were all yours. You got a gold number to 50, a couple of Ray Waves, and you did get a Jackson and a Lipscomb. Number three, Brad Shaw. Let me pull your packs down. Gonzalez, Dominguez, Khalil, Jace. I heard Jace Young's out six weeks. Home of the pick your player. Dominguez. Carson, Colson, Jordan. And base. I 
was really mad. Central intelligence. It, wait, central intelligence. Oh yeah. I wasn't really mad, but it was stupid. All, all those bullets. <laughs> I was like, count how many bullets that got, they dodged. I like it to be borderline realistic. I can see it can be somewhat over the top, but some of them are absolutely silly. Jay Allen, Yaisen, Maroble. You gotta make it somewhat realistic. Hayden Dunhurst. Damn base. Alright, Brad. Oh, wait, one more. Brakes already full. You want Lanny Lugnuts? <laughs> what was Lanny Lugnuts in? I forgot already. We pulled it the other day. Ben Joyce. Another Ray Wave there, Brad Shaw. And these. All right, that's Brad. So the last, if there is an autograph in these two boxes, Randy has to get it. <laughs> Brad. Oh yeah, Lansing lug nut. That was it. What product was that? That we hit Lance lug nuts. Lan Technically, it's Lansing, Michigan, but. Here's an Ellie Teal. Technically, that's the same year as his Bowman Chrome first, but it's not his first. Eric Brown Jr. Oh, that was Retrographs. Got it. That's a good porn star name. Lanny. I like Lanny Lug Nuts better. <laughs> Lanny Lugs. Joe Lampy. Two papers in this color. This is two fifty. Kevin Parada, Cutter Coffee with a roofie. Here's an Anthony Volpe. Ray Wave. And base. Got a green chrome chased a lotter. Bowman first, uh, 26 of 99. Max Muncy, Ray, Ray Wave Jose Ramos, and base. Showed house. <laughs> Elijah Green, Jacob Mizoroski, and base. Four packs left here, Randy. Kyle Tucker in the bed. Brenner. Mason and Gavin. Reggie. Willie Vasquez, Ray Wave. I don't know, Willie. Jackson Holly, that's a second paper. Those used to be $10 to $20 cards. Might not be anymore. Kumar Rocker. I bet he did. Rock me like a hurricane. Oh. Marcelo pulled some more beaver. Anybody else pulling beavers today? Felix Valerio disease. Elijah Green. Last pack.
Eric Brown, Jose Ramos, J. Allen Raywave. And that will officially doozer. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody, for jumping in that. <clears throat> I don't mind stealing bread from the mouths of decadent. But I can't eat all the power of this. This was Randy. We don't need to practice. Randy. <coughs> oh no. One of my many viruses is flaring up. Zach, hi, I hit you back. Now, we're officially done with all the group breaks we put up. If anyone has a cool idea for another group break, let me know. Anybody got any cool ideas or not really? Uh, next up is Shy Rodney. It's going to do Heritage High Number, Diamond Kings, and Stranger Things. Where is Diamond King? Oh. <coughs> Man. Got bad case of the uh, sneezes over here. Whatever happened to you? Call me. We'll talk about it. And Brad Brown, I'll do yours directly after Shy Rodney. He ordered this earlier this morning. I was just doing these group breaks first. I'll go grab those. Is everybody in the club getting tipsy? Good, good. I wonder when my van down by the river. Ten box blaster break of what? Um, here we go, Shy Ronnie, Stranger Things. It's the last box of Stranger Things. The last one, Lucas got, had a dual autograph in it. They do not guarantee autographs, but you can randomly find them. Huh. 
<laughs> Chris Burr decides. Your first lenticular is Eddie Munson. You got Munson already. Oh, I did? Destined. You're my destiny. I meant density. We will have the best spring break ever. Is this spring break right now? I don't follow that really. Is everybody on spring break? Obviously younger folk. Hawkins, these are some things. Oh yeah, there are some things worse than those. Vecna. I feel like my life started the day we found you in the woods. Is that how that scene goes? Were there tears in that scene? Chrissy Cunningham. Hell, Lord Vecna. Who the hell is Hail Lord Vecna? He only has 15 points left. 15, wait, he only has 15 hit points. Oh, uh, was he crowd surfing in that? Bada boom. He was surfing the crowd. Lifting your spirits. Do you ever feel like you're losing your mind? What, today? Some. <laughs> Is broke back good on weed? See you on the other side. I've never seen that movie. All broke back. Hell, Lord Vecna. No, you didn't. I just didn't look hard enough. But I see you now. I see you. I see you. Bitchin'. For Chrissy. Chrissy Snow from Three's Company. Christopher Matasanti. There's 11. <laughs> I didn't think that action would get any hotter. What, in Brokeback? It was action packed. That's what holds this party together. Hard. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. Hey, we did get another autograph. That's weird. We got um, four or five autographs from this case. Numbered to 88001. Oh. That's played by Jamie Campbell Bauer. Henry Creel. For real? For real, it's Henry Creel. Still alive? Yep. Phase four and base. All right, there's your Stranger Things. You did find the last autograph. I guess we'll do Heritage High. See if you can dodge the white card.
Did I have free candy written on the side, Crisper? This card's bowed up. Joe Horner. Apparently that dude sat in the corner eating some pumpkin pie. Damn, how come nobody told me the randomizer was up? <laughs> Why didn't someone tell me that? Free candy with a K? I like it. Could you get in trouble riding or getting a white van with no windows and writing free candy on the side? Obviously as a joke. We were dodging it the whole way and then it showed up. Shy Ronnie, we dodged it the whole way. And then it had to show its ugly head. Oh, it did? Maybe for once it'll be a relic autograph. Yep, it's a white. And it is, well, it's pretty nice, I guess. Corbin Carroll, game use bat. It's a game use rookie of Corbin if you got to get a relic. That one's all right. Now the rest, Shy Rodney, will be relic. I mean, I'm sorry, rookies and base, unless it's backwards. Uh, you'll probably get a Roger Maris. Uh, Aaron Judge dual backwards. That's a very common card. Most boxes have one to two. Sandy. We don't need to practice, Sandy. Mike Schmidt. Yep, there it is right there. Ron Ramirez, Aaron Judge. For some reason, they put that card backwards, but it's not a short print. Matter of fact, it's a long print. Very long. Or a tall print. Very tall. Anthony Volpe, that version of Rookie. Asturi Ruiz. 
$9.99. We got a lot of rain and wind last night and yesterday. That's why these games are getting postponed. It's heading up the coast. Matter of fact, Dime, are you still here? Are you getting a lot of rain and weather in northern Virginia? No backwards cards other than the common one. You guys in New York been getting rain, in Jersey, New York area, been getting rain for 48 straight hours. Giraffe Kings. I meant Diamond Kings. Angel Perez, double jersey, 82 of 99, autograph. Didn't take long to find the first hit. Mike Trout and Lars Newt Bar. Curtis, Juan Yepes, Shane, Dulles, and Joe Ryan. Jazz, Otto, Lou, Carlos, and Jake Cousins. Tyler, TJ, Judge, Jose, and Sapuki. What's up, Bob Lancaster? Good morning, Detmers, Luke, Piazza, Patrick Mazika, Jackson, Glenn, Larry, Albert, and Drew. O'Neill, Tony, Randy. Jimmy and Mike. Hans Kraus, Patrick Cattell, Soto, and Strider. Should be one more hit in here. Why does the Mets suck? Vidal, Edward Traspeaker. Tatis and Jackson. That's your favorite team too, right, Hi? The Mets. The Knicks and the Mets. Oh, I think this is it right here. Seth, Brian. Uh-oh, he's on the hot list right now. Wander Franco. Rookie bat jersey. Player worn used. Let's see a number on that. Acevedo and Robbie Ray. Connor, Matt, Christian, Mickey, and Jaron. Last pack here is Sky Running. Will Yield. Oh, we did get a numbered card. Artist Proof. Number to 99, Tyler Gilbert. He's French. Chris Bryant, Kevin Smith. All right. I appreciate it, Rodney. All right. That was Shy Rodney. Next up, Brad Braw was going to try a couple of boxes, and then I think after that one I'll be caught up. If anybody else wants a break, I can do it after that, or no other break ideas were sent over, and if anybody has any cool ideas, let me know, or there is no or, that was it.
Brant Brown's going to do a Legends Metal Hockey. And a Bowman Draft Light. And a 23 Elite Extra Extra. Read all about it. I will. Extra, extra. Um, Brady, Matt, I hit you back. I'm just going to grab Brad's boxes. I don't think he cares. There's a pile of legends out there and everything else. Drawing a blank on that third box, but I figured it out. Chris, we got top top favor. You gonna help me do your introduction speech since I'm nominating you? Sounds good, Bob. I appreciate it. You can do the introduction. He's not already in there. Yeah, D-Man, they didn't offer transcendent. I think. That one, you had to be part of Fanatics Live as well. And Dynasty, I was told you had to be part of Fanatics Live as well. <laughs> he gets a crap ton of big league. <laughs> I get all the big league you can stomach. And pro debut. Uh, Brad Brown is going to try 23 Elite Hockey Legends and 22 Draft. We'll start with the draft. Somebody suggested, do you guys want me to put this up? One box from a fresh Sterling cereal. It would be 115 a spot. Two spots would only hit, though. What do you think? It would be from the fresh case, though. Anyone else interested in that break? 
Logan Tanner, first one stamped, one of 150. The rub is, at best, only two people hit. Kumar Rocker and Robert Moore. I would say Retrograph, too. Tops has cards in retro, though. Oh, Averson Ortega, Jordani de los Santos, he has sand between his toes. Austin, Mikey Romero. <sighs> yeah, Uts, Uts, I'll toss you in some packs or something when I ship. Sorry about that, Uts. There was a couple spots that only... Only got nothing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, that was a pricey buy-in too. Wrinkle. Seemed like a lot of the numbers were going 2-4. Jackson Cheerio. Ellie De La Cruz. Mason and Gavin, Pero. Anthony Hall, okay. Well, you, got a, you don't get 11 year old Dominicans in Dynasty? Dylan Beaver, we've been pulling a lot of Beaver today. Dylan Beaver Aqua Lava. That one is $199. Michael Knorr. Sean McLean. And Base. Lots and lots of Beavers. Hmm. I don't know why I got a case of the yawns brewing. Lamar, Christian, Drew, Elijah Green, and Sal Stewart Refractor. More Beaver. Hendry Mendez. Aqua, Colson Norhe, Yokenzie, and Robbie Stelly. Oh my word! There's Jackson Paper. Oh, you did, Bob. Uh, the solar eclipse is this Monday, right? Around three o'clock. I think that's what my wife was telling me. Trey Lipscomb first. Just paper though. Jacob Yeti Cap. Base. Everybody getting their glasses. Gonna go see the solar eclipse. What I like to do is stare at it directly without glasses for about 12 minutes. That's the key time. Stare at it for 12 minutes when it's perfectly hidden until it moves. Drew Baker. Marcelo Meyer. And base. Still can't find the autograph of that case. Oh my god. Ronnie. 
Next up, Elite Extra Extra. Read all about it. Yeah, it's pretty good for you. It only slightly burns the retinas. Matt Shaw, Yu Min Lee, 349. First autograph, Impact Impressions, Robert Moore, or less, and Bryce Matthews, Jersey. Not numbered. Giovanni Rodriguez. You got to roll your R's or it doesn't count. Am I right? It does, Chris R. How's it going, Chris? Garcia and Chase. Austin Trosser. And 49, Kyle Carr. Some of these edges have slight white chipping on them. Number to 49, Jersey on that one. And Santana Moss. <laughs> yeah, I won't be seeing you on Tuesday. I'll be blinded by the light. Revved up like a deuce. Nobel Meyer, 349. Here's a Jack Hurley gold die cut. 18 of 24. 250 points. And Chase DeLander. Enrique. Gonzalez to four ninety nine, Alonzo Treadwell three ninety nine, Andy Matos that was another one to twenty four, twenty two of twenty four, Andrew Pinkney, Braden Taylor, Christian Campbell number to sixty, Kevin. McGognagle? I'm not sure how you say that. 200. That sounds like a tough name. Jacob Reimer. Hey, it's one of Fung's favorite players. Jacob Reimer. And Wyatt. Alright, now we'll finish with the Legends. First one is four of six, Paul Henderson. And, th oh, we got a triple autograph. We got a quad autograph. Um, three of five, Rajon Lemelin. Bobby Hole, Jean Rattel, Bobby Clark, and Gilbert Perot. Iceman four. The four Iceman. One of one. That's a cool card. Got a quad one of one on the end there, old Brad, brah. And a bunch of 24s in the Elite. All right, that'll do it. Thanks a lot, buddy. Hey. Hey. Reds are hard to pop. Brinded by delight. Up like a douche in the middle of the night. I'll check and see, guys, but I think that got us caught up on the day that break right there. But I'll see, maybe something else came through. We just come through there. Something just came through very expensive.
missed a lot of text, but I think I just hit everybody back in text that needed it. Oh, you did? Let me see what this order was. Oh, an impeccable case. That's actually my last case. Pi is going to try that other impeccable. Impeccable in every way and forevermore. That's how we'll stay. Let me grab that. Two people on that card. That's a yeah. That's a no can do. <laughs> she 
Shelby ordered Big League Light. <laughs> Big League Light. Uh, Bob, I don't have any Leaf Bowling. I have Leaf uh, Hockey Legends. We just opened one. The dual vert kiss. <laughs> that's the that, that's the chase in this Brady map. The old dual vertical kiss card. Um, Hi is gonna do. He wants to wrestle me. Uh, this is the last case I got of this. Twenty three impeccable. Uh, for some reason they put the sticker on the middle. Why? I don't know. See if we can get the one of one out of this one. Deviled eggs cost seventy-two dollars. How many eggs is that, Joey? Like fifty. Call yourself a hobby shop. <laughs> you find the double vert kiss card in the scissor book. That's right. Twelve eggs for seventy-two dollars. Hell, I'll make them for you. I make a mean double egg for a lot less. You want me to cater it or not? I got a nice stewed beef and a nice spaghetti. Six of seventy-five. Oh, Randy! I hope I didn't mess up. I'm pretty sure he ordered the whole case. Let me verify this real fast. Impeccable WWE times three. Great glide. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Live free or die, Morgan. Axiom to 99. Brock Lesnar to 49. Solo Sokoa 20 of 25. That was your base chunks. Steve Blackman, Immortal Inc. He's not a mortal man. Mahal. That one's 40 of 75. Extravagance. Red Rooster. Hey, he drew a rooster on top of the R. 45 of 75. Extravagance. Shotzi is your relic autograph. 2 of 49. Oh, and that card was ripped on the top. That's the design. It's the color blast looking thing. Liv Morgan, 29 of 75. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they come to stop the rooster. Oh, yeah.
Razor Ramon, this one's nine of only ten. Gold version. Hey, Ricky Stanicki, 73 of 99. JC Jane, I love that name. Love that tattoo. What's that say? Rotten Pieces. Um, that's great. 6 of 49. 24 of 35, Dexter. Damn, we haven't hit one box without a redemption in it yet. Dexter Loomis. This is box 5. And everyone has had a redemption. Gnome Dar Watercolor. That's what that thing's called, Watercolor. Eyes burn from sting and sweat. Trick. Canvas Creations. 44 of 75. Stainless Steel Stars, Grayson Waller. That's the orange, so my guess, 25. Six of twenty-five on stainless orange. Farouk, illustrious ink. Six of twenty-five and Shawn Michaels, ninety-two intercontinental from nineteen ninety-two. Eighty-five of ninety-two. Shawn Michaels. They found a way to kill me. Eyes burn from state and swear. Seems every pack leaves me. Oh, got a metal card. Maybe it'll be a gold one of one. What, that 92? Save the metal for last. You ain't gonna believe it. You got another redemption. Six for six on redemption cards. Giovanna, Giovanni Vinci, 28 of 49. Xavier Woods to 99. And Odyssey Jones to 25. Mark Coffey. That's what his boss says to him. Hey, Mark, coffee. 75 of 75. Jerry Sags, his balls do. 37 of 75. Leilani Kai, championship debut. There's an 85 on that one. 74 of 85. AJ Styles, 40 of 75 relic autograph, and the last card, Redemption, Roman Reigns, Elegance Memorabilia Autograph Amethyst. Pretty cool Roman Reigns. What's Amethyst number two? I guess I can check it out real fast, just out of curiosity. Let's see, I'll tell you in two seconds. Well, WWE 2023 Panini Impeccable Elegance Memorabilia Autograph Amethyst. There it is. 15. There's only 19 of them. Wait. They just have a weird card number. There's only like 10 of them. This is card 17. They skip numbers in here. There's no 8. There's no 6. Um, anyway, Roman Reigns is numbered to 15. The metal card is O, A, E, O. Hey, it is gold. One of one. Gold one of one. I didn't see who it is, but it's gold one of one. Any guesses? My guess, AJ Styles, just by the letters. 
And I was right. AJ Styles, that is a 14 karat gold half troy ounce bar. 14 ounces, I meant 14 ounces, a half ounce of 14 karat. That's pretty cool. Uno de uno. All right, there you have it all. Hi. I appreciate the break, buddy. Hey, we didn't get our vertical kiss card. That was weird. Last year when um, in 2022, actually in 23, when 22 came out, we hit a gold one of one bar. In like one or two cases. I think I only got two cases then too. And this year we get a gold one of one bar out of two cases. Isn't that craziest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Thanks for the break there. Hi. I appreciate it, buddy. Nice gold one of one on the end. Now I got that rooster song stuck in my head. Seems every path leads me to nowhere. Wah, 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 wah. Let me check my text. caught up guys if anybody else cares for a personal or if you guys have any cool group break ideas even if it doesn't go today we could do it tomorrow there's nothing new coming out Thursday it'll probably be slow if we don't have any breaks up so if you have any cool ideas let me know I'm just gonna put away all this stuff that came in the prism and all the footballs and whatnots oh. I just noticed this. I got the impeccable football case in just right now. It has the sticker on the outside with the tape over it. For some reason, they put them on the butts in the impeccable. This one's the football version. Though. Um, so I thought that was a mistake when they did it on WWE, but it wasn't.
some names on some of these. The bullet screams at me from the sun. But then he also, you know, his number one offense is the which I love. You come to stop the rooster. Still caught up, guys, if anybody sees anything that tickles their effing fancy. Anybody feel like getting their fancy tickled? Because if you go down the street, if you go down the 
sealed shipment together. Let me grab that case. Actually, I have enough boxes. This is the last four boxes. Everybody here cool? Cisco did the art for the book Tribal Queef. There will be good times in the Sterling. Yeah, hi. I'll never forget. <laughs> Priority mail. Station, new order, Southwest, Mikey, I cannot agree more.
Okay. Did you guys know Fortune favors the bold? Not the italicized, but the bold. up some of those cards, yo. Oh, you will? H I J K L Anybody ever lose their illusion?
think I got it all in there. have yellow ugly toe fungus Everyone still here? Everyone cool? Three box chrome update, two breakers delight. Oh, two breakers delight and last hobby and a Bowman light. All right, they're both going up. Joey, Ventura, they're both going up now. Send the ideas, we're posting them. All right, uh, round number six, Bowman Draft Light is up now. Two thousand twenty three tops from update. Bobby. Put it up. Let me see if they're up. <laughs> yep, both are up. If anyone's interested, Bowman Draft Light Break round number six, I think. It's one of those double breaks. I just put that up, and that was one that Ventura wanted to try. And Joey. Wanted Jumbo, Hobby, and Delight, three box mixer. Breakers, Delight, Hobby, and Jumbo. 
all update series, all three boxes have chances at the one of one MLB logos. If you get lucky, do you feel lucky? Well, do you? Pump. Now, that's the end of that story. Now, since I'm caught up, I am going to get this batch of videos off the camera. And I'm going to start team bagging some cards. You guys ever team bag cards before? It's fun. So many videos we got. Nine videos. Nine not me videos looking like hoes. Oh yeah, I forgot to put a series. That's correct, Amundo. <laughs> Just kidding. Both are sucker bats. Chris, did you really order a van? And is it down by the river? I think living in a van down by the river sounds mighty fun, as long as you got a shower. Get to go white water rafting if the river's running river. Hey, you could shower in the river. Could grill out every night on an open fire, fresh caught fish. That sounds fun. I'm just going to be on the side over here, folks, team bagging a bunch of these Heritage and other breaks and top loading up all that impeccable wrestling, sterling, and tribute. If anybody has a personal they want, I'll keep my eyes on the emails. You dig? I dig.
cards I've actually team bagged over the years. It's got to be in the millions. Just bricks and bricks of cards. That loading. Oh, there it was. Sean Yell, if you guys are into my Facebook group, he types a lot. Sean Y E L. He just sent over and showed me what he got from four boxes. Four blaster boxes that I sent him of uh, Big League. Three of five, Corey Seager and an orange Ellie De La Cruz from four blasters. Three of five, Corey Seager. Funny story about that. He said his wife ordered them and he didn't want them, so he wanted to return them. So I'm like, well, you can return them, but you're going to have to pay the processing and the shipping because I've already spent all that. <laughs> I blew it. We blew it hard. Anyway, so he's like, ah, oh, screw it. I'll just keep them. He's like, if I were, this is quote unquote what he said. He's like, if I return them, there'll be something big in there. And then he gets a three of five Corey Seager. <laughs> yeah, his wife made the right choice. <laughs> He was right though. He said if he returned him, he would he would hit something big. And I guess Corey Seager three to five is pretty cool out of a blaster box, if you ask me.
camera. You're going to win, you know, a large portion of it. The guy takes a fishing staff and throws it in the trash can off the island. Uh, the fishing staff is going to be, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be. Yeah, you know, they're off. You know, put it in the trash can. It's the way to go. Yeah, I think that's really I'm going to drop these here. Because I, I do feel like, yeah, they may be best used if they have three or four things coming. Walker Buehler has not appeared at all. Everybody cool? Shocking as a post in the group asking if what he got is good. <laughs> Typically asking PW questions. He already posted it in the group. Fong, Brady Matt. He already posted it in the group. There's um four left in that Bowman draft. Uh, round six, I think. Another one bites the dust. I need a protein bar, I think. Bill. Oh, and a soda.
I don't think the ACA is going to do this, but, you know, one of the best players in the sport playing right here. Okay, not a premier position. One of the best players in the sport playing second base. Not a premier position. And Al Keith, one of the best players in the NFL baseball, playing, you know, the premier of positions. I'm expecting this team to have a great season. I'm also expecting Juan Soto to have a monster season. I think he's going to take out the worst part of the Yankees, but I think he is going to thrive in the clubhouse. I do. I think you're right. Uh, I think that's an easy one for the Yankees. And I think, obviously, this is Jacob Reyes. He's going to put him in the front of that lineup. He's going to wreak havoc. Take Fred in on that. Bill Hader's going. That's going to be fun. Freddie Everett still is cold, so it's always fun to watch Freddie. So let's do this, too. Let's talk about another young who potentially could carry this team get really hot, sign a nice little contract this offseason. And that's the place that you want to do it. Trent the bat. Because they're playing right now the Twins. We're not going to see a ton of that. But we're going to get into some Twins trivia next year on Locked On Twins. The NBA playoffs are right around the corner. And you can get the best matchups and more of all coverage on NBA Radio Channel 86. All right, Terry got a top sterling seal. Um, Terry, if you happen to be watching live, it is a flash.
Same rule applies. Caught a hinger search. my head. <laughs> Box number four. Bottom one. Top Sterling. Terry. Match the logos up if you so desire. So you know you got one from a fresh. Or it might have a number on it. No, it doesn't. Anyway, Terry, I'll ship that out. Terry's getting this ship sealed, D-Man. Let me know if you need any more, though. There's three from a fresh. This was the bottom one. Ship it now, UPS. Get it out the way, yo. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what, so what, so what, starts somewhere, yo. Is that it? That's it.
the dust. Everybody good? Uh, D-Man, no, he was going to get it sealed. I rolled for it, bottom one. Box two is the bat barrel. According to... Take a picture of this one one. I think it was cool. How much is 14 carat half troy ounce if in, in melt value? Does anyone know? Anyone know the gold? I know gold was going up for a minute. What's melt value of a 14 carat gold bar? Half troy ounce. Gotta be in the millions. Gotta be in the millions. Jackson Churio had a home run. Um, three left in that Bowman draft. <laughs> box three, bat barrel. Box four, bat barrel. Three bat barrels. Nice case. <laughs> There's got to be some crazy hits in this one. The last one had a lot of uh, younger stars in it. I didn't have any of the old school cuts and bets. I'm just over here top loading cards if anybody cares for anything. I got nowhere to be and go, so I'm hanging. Actually, in about five minutes, I do need to go drop my UPS up at the pharmacy. My driver doesn't pick up anymore. This new driver said he don't play that. You got to schedule. And technically I could schedule for every damn day, I guess. Because it seems like just about every day I'll have at least one. But I'd hate to schedule for every day and then come by and not have anything. Three bat barrels in this case. Nice.
Alright, all those are top loaded. never know. Hey, that's what makes this game fun. There might be in that store right there. I'll show you a picture. Filled to the brim with too much inventory. Every glass case. Stuff is double stacked. If you look beside the NBA wall, that whole middle, middle part is just floor. It's stacked all the way as tall as the shelf would stuff. Anyway, out there right now, there's probably, what would you guess? I would say at least 150 one of ones, maybe more, 200 one of ones out there. But you never know of who and of what. <clears throat> There's probably some black finites, some super fractors. Some logo mans, some shields. On the table, there's three bat barrels. Not to say that a one of one's always the best card anyway. I meant shit, you can get red refractors number to five that'll blow. The one of ones out of water if it's the right player. Um, but it would be fun to win like the lottery and just open it all and see what's been chilling. <laughs> see what's been chilling. Did someone hit that? Speaking of lottery, did someone hit that billion dollar lottery yet or did it go up again? I haven't been playing. It's not enough money yet. A billion dollars. It's not worth my two bucks. Now, if it gets to two or three billion, I'll think about it. Oh, hi. When did your priority package come in? I dropped it off Saturday morning. When was it delivered? Was it Monday? You're like, it's still not delivered. Monday, cool, cool. I'm just just for uh, shits and giggles. I'm gonna check some other packages that I shipped on Friday. I meant Saturday morning. Dropped off Saturday morning, and I'm gonna see where they are. <clears throat> Joe Cor was dropped off right below you. He was order number one seven zero zero eight nine. You are one seven zero zero nine zero. You're one above. Let me see. Joe Cor had pieces of the past historical edition, so that would have went in the bubble mailer, and it was delivered April first, Monday, via. USPS Ground Advantage. Is Joe Core here? He'll verify it. LAA 
1979 was delivered. B. Miller was delivered. High was delivered. Joe Corr delivered. Matus delivered. New York Mike in New York. He was USPS ground. He was delivered. Tibor. Suddenly Tibor. I don't even know where Tibor lives, but he was delivered. Let me see where Tibor lives. Tibor lives in Kansas. It was dropped off Saturday by a USPS ground advantage. It was delivered on Monday in Kansas. Uh, Sean Yell was delivered. He's the one that got those blaster boxes. Charlie Bill. Actually, I'm not checking to see what day it was delivered. Technically, these could be Tuesday or Wednesday, I guess. They all just say delivered. Uh, never mind. That was April 2nd. <laughs> so some came in April 2nd. I just kept seeing delivered, delivered, delivered. I was thinking it was Monday, all of them Monday, but some could be Tuesday. Anyway, <clears throat> about 90% of them were delivered Monday or Tuesday. So USPS ground advantage ain't that bad. Oh, there's Joe Core right there. What's up, Joe Core? <laughs> POTP always ships faster. Well, who lives on the West Coast that ordered Friday? I'm trying to think. Hub City. Oh, Traps. Traps would be one. Traps lives in CA. Let me check. Delivered April 1st in California. Traps. Was delivered April 1st. From North Carolina to California. I don't know if Hugo's here, but he can verify that. I'll still ship a priority. I'm just saying that if 90% of the packages get there in a couple of days, especially if it's East Coast to East Coast. But you do have that 10 or 15% that take their trip through Guam, Puerto Rico. Uh, they're going to Florida and somehow they hit Alaska. <laughs> you do have 10 or 15% of them that like to creep. Creep around the country. But I'd say about 80 or 90% are there in two to three business days. At least the ones I'm shipping. I don't know. I don't have anything that else to back that up with. <clears throat> Maybe certain distribution centers are, are slower. That could be the case, too. There's two left in Bowman Draft, if anybody digs on that. Two left in Bowman Draft. Double nut packs again. We're due for an autograph out of this case, I'll tell you that. I can't remember if I shipped any seal. That's the rub. I can't remember out of this case if we shipped any seal. We got eight left in that triple chrome break, but Joey's not in yet. He's good for one. Bowman draft, eight left in that triple chrome jumbo hobby and breakers delight. I just gotta grab these two boxes.
Yeah, they come to stop. Hey, that trash can attacked me. It attacked me. What country is Kansas in? <laughs> That's near Guam. What country? My Guam package was Priority East. Oh, Fong, that package that went to Guam was shipped via Priority and it still went to Guam? Not, not USPS Ground Advantage? What's up, Juice? Sometimes I product shipped on Saturday. I arrived four days before one shipped on the prior Wednesday. Yeah, it's weird. That's what I like about Saturday shipping. I think they're closed on Sunday, but those trucks be rolling and moving. They're closed for the customer, but I think they move a lot of stuff Saturday, Sunday, and get it out Monday to start a fresh week. Well, dang, I guess they really weren't breaking. No, 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 D-Man. <clears throat> if you can hear me, he wanted that ship sealed. That was Terry. So I rolled the box. He got the bottom. He rolled the number four, bottom one. Kua Island adjacent. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't want to break it live. He got his shift sealed, yo. I have to wait and see what he gets if he'll hook me up and let me know. Thank you. 
So Brad Brow's gonna try Bowman Chrome HGA. Brad, I'll be right there. Just let me throw this label on this. After Brad's, I do just have to run up to the pharmacy real quick. Um, Brad Brow, there's four of them in that glass case. I'll roll. Oh, Brad Brow, also short the shipping and toss it in with your other. Um, it'll go out with your other cards. Let me see. Previous mistakes. <coughs> uh, it looks like those quad packs filled up as well. I'll do those after I drop UPS, which will only take a second. It'll take two minutes. You can time me on that. Everybody cool? I tweaked my shoulder. Check this out. I was at the gym today and I was doing my sit down shoulder lifts. <clears throat> kind of hard to show you on this camera. But you sit in the chair and you do the uh, lifts. Guy I see in there all the time. <clears throat> He's over there doing something to do with kettlebells. Anyway, on my third set, I, I was trying to do 10. And I think he saw me getting a little struggly with eight. So he came over, like in a rush. He's like, come on, let's get it. I'm like, I didn't even say anything. I'm like, all right. And so I'm going for nine, and I get nine up. And he's like, come on, let's get it. <laughs> and he's tapping my triceps to get that 10 up. I was struggling on that 10. But anyway, to get back to why I was saying that story, I think that's what tweaked out my left shoulder. I was trying to go too much, too many reps. But I had to do it because homeboy went ran over and said, come on, let's get it. So I got it. All right, I got four Bowman Chrome out there. Brad Bra. Third one down. <laughs> Very friendly gym that Chris worked. Are you saying I don't work out in there, Dime? I don't think you've seen the gun lately. Let me give you a little show. You get that by sitting there breaking cards. Or you might have to lift a weight. <laughs> I think you might have to lift a weight to get that.
Dust in box two. Let's get it. Bra bra. 22 Bowman. 23 Bowman Chrome HTA. There's another guy in there. <laughs> Let's get it. Mojo blocks. Javier or Mojo? Um, Javier or Rivas? Slide. Marco Vargas, number to 150. And blue color match. Junior Marin, number to 150. Got a good looking autograph. M. Elm is his autograph. All right. Thanks, Brad. I shorted the shipping. When your credit card's finalized, all that shipping will go back. Give it two or three days. You'll see it when it finalizes. Thanks, thanks, Brad. Bra. Ain't found. All right. I'll do that Bowman draft light next, but I'm just going to run to this pharmacy. When you hear the door close, it'll take exactly 120 seconds. I'll be back. Ow. Sounds like you get stared at and fondled. <laughs> Sounds like you get your stare at. Oh, Mark Michael Barr, I put that last hobby box up for, um, I see you grabbed it. Sorry, Michael Barr. Let me know if you want to switch that out, man. I, uh, Joey and them wanted to do some sort of update numbers break. And I put the last hobby and the last jumbo in that break. I forgot to take it down. I just put it up like 30 minutes ago. So, Michael Barr, if you're here, let me know if you want to switch that to something else, man, or you just want me to avoid it. Sorry about that. I need to remove the update jumbo, too. I have plenty of lights. I have uh, a good amount of breakers delight. Not light, but breakers delight. I have a good amount of those. But... I took the last jumbo and the last hobby and with the breakers delight made a numbers break that Joey was asking for. <clears throat> That's a beautiful M. Like the casino. Alright. Somebody time this. When you hear the door close, start the timer. I'm gonna go dump these two UPS at the pharmacy. I will be back in 120 seconds from when the door closes. Wait for the door. Make sure I got everything so I don't have to come back. Wallet, keys. Yep. I'm just gonna dump these couple of UPS at the pharmacy right here.
Dumb rooster stone still stuck in my head. All right, let me grab the loose. Let me Bowman draft round six, I think. Kenny down to Bill W. Let me check and see what Michael Barr wants to do. Hopefully, he's on the live feed. Um, is a big start for the Yankees. This is a big start for them. I wrote that song. So let's see. Times five. So times six. Sorry, I was running late. When I went to the pharmacy, I had to buy candy. Yummy. Is Michael Barr here? There's already a couple in it, Joey, on that triple box break. Is not here, so I got the timer. Just got here. What we timing? His usual mail dump on this box of flawless, i.e., McDonald's run. <laughs> hey, was it two minutes, phone? 
on the nose from when the door closed to the door open? Was it two minutes? <laughs> McDonald's takes seven. <laughs> they take UPS packages through the drive through Oh, you texting me? Did I leave my phone here? Your time. Damn it, I got behind a slow car. Two minutes, 50 seconds, point sixty-nine. When did you stop the clock? When the door opened or when I was in the store grabbing the boxes? My goal was two minutes. I will be honest, you got to drive 25 to 30. You can't do 50 down this road. You got to stop at a four-way, which there were three cars there going left and straight. Then you got to go through that to the next block, hit the pharmacy, go in. Then you got to wait for the lady at the register. I got lucky to date it. She wasn't doing anything. So she walked right over and took my packages. So when I got back in, I don't think it can be done in two minutes unless you did 55 the whole way, ran into the store, tossed them on the floor, ran back to your car while it's running, and raced, raced back at 50. I think it's a three-minute trip. I'm going to try to do it in two one day, though. All of a sudden, I just don't come back. You read the news that I ran over a human being. <laughs> uh, white truck kills someone in Seven Lakes doing 80 in a 25. All right, this is Bowman Draft Light. Um, somebody wanted to do this again on the live feed. Hey, we're going to click it a lot of times. I'm going to take all 10 packs, mix them up, restack them into four stacks of five, and you'll get quad packs based upon your number down. Twelve times. We're still due for an autograph from this case. I got a good feeling it's in here. Joe Core down to Brad Shaw. Twelve times. Her suspect is Rocky. No, who's the guy? Henry Rugg. No, uh, yeah, Rugg. Didn't he? Didn't he kill somebody? Recent, like at an idiot speed. like a good mix to me. Yeah, 155, crazy. One, two, three, four. Joe Cor, see if we can find an autograph. <laughs> His life is gonna get those last three. Luis Meza, just an aqua velvet. Drew Thorpe, Jim's great great grandson. True story. Don't look it up. Brady House, lava. We random every pack? <laughs> that sounds fun. Alan, are you certain? I'm certain. Jordani de los Santos, our first rave, no, second ray wave is Jonathan Clays. Elijah Green, getting a lot of paper Jacksons. That's another thing from this case, we've got no color Jackson or ray wave.
Dominguez. Oh, we did get a yellow. Brady House. 75, right? Yeah, 24 of 75. Yellow Lava. Robbie Snelling. And Edison Paulino. Gavin Crisscross, Parker Messick. Man, my left shoulder is tweaked. It was bothering me before I started lifting weights, and I thought lifting weights would help, and it did for a while, but I think I pushed it too far today. I took it to the limit one more time. Heard it in a song once. Joe Core, all those are yours. Oh, Bill gets the next eight. are yours. What's up, Nick G? Where you been all day? <laughs> even, even, even after you're lifting. <laughs> he rubbed it down. <laughs> Nazi. <laughs> you look over there, he's rubbing my shoulder. <laughs> Getting into the bone. Let me get that for you, sir. Now, let's get it. He makes me do another set. And we've been pulling beavers left and right. There's Trey Lipscomb. Marco Luciano. Come va. Trevor Martin. Tristan Vreeling. Elijah Green first. <laughs> you broke, Chris. I just get dumb image in my head imagining some guy like, come on, man, let's get that weight up. Come on, come on. You get done, he massages you. <laughs> Stupid. Here's Elijah Green Groovy. I heard the groove was in the heart. Marobo. George Kirby. We pulled his triple one of one out of something with King Felix and Big Unit. More beavers? If Beaver ever gets on the hot list, this is the. Man, that guy, well, I haven't heard someone that excited since someone won national championship. Yasser Mercedes, that announcer was going nuts. I thought he hit like two grand slams in one swing. I don't know who it was. Oh, Ramirez short hopped the wall and right. His first double. Roberto Campos. Max Muncy. La, uh, Ray Wave. Justin, Willie, I don't know, Willie, Connor Prelip, what the hell is the autographs up in this piece, come on now, I think like they should put like heritage, three autographs per case. Drew Gilbert, Jordan Walker, Jason Cheerio, Tristan Freeling, Melton Young, Carson Williams. 
Got Ellie Raywave. Pretty rookie, but not a first. All right, all those went to Bill Hole. I meant Bill Reed. All right, next up, Kenny C. Ventura. Ventura. Yes, Satan. Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. Gabriel. Sonny De Sonny Dechara. There's Jackson. Got a home run today. Cheerio. Nate Furman. Elijah Green. Guess how much for an extra pair of glasses from Virginia? I don't even know what that means. Are you on the PCP today, Chris? Jacob Miller, Walter Ford. Base, ow. Jacob and Eric Hunter Barco. Barco. Polo. All right, got one Ray Wave in there, and obviously a bunch of Bowman first and whatnot. Kenny. Kill Kenny. Who in the hell killed Kenny? All right, if we're to have an autograph in here, it's in the last four packs, and that means it would be going to Brad. Virgin Ass or Virginia? Dustin Harris, Caden Wallace, Christian Vaquero, Jr., Thomas, <laughs> I ate a lot of everything when I was little, I had a very bad habit of putting everything in my mouth, still do, but I used to too. Matt McLean, there's Jackson Holiday, but just an insert. Jared McKenzie, there's Jackson Regular. Last pack here, Bradshaw. Parker Jackson, Oscar Pepsi Colas, 199. Adam Mazur, Mason Wynn, right now, can't find the autograph, oh well, maybe the next time, Brad, thanks buddy, and everybody else, Kat, Kenny, Joe, and Bill, Zap five dollar copay. This is your helper for the show. <laughs> Godspeed. 
They don't get angel dust before brain blast. I don't even know what you guys are talking about, for real. Chris, are you having some sort of work done? I have no clue what you guys are talking about. He's the lunch grabber. Oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't get to converse with customers. <laughs> hey, go over to Chick-fil-A and get my food. Matter of fact, pay for it, too. This is the eye candy. <laughs> hey man, check this out. How much you think this Kobe Curry dual autograph on card they only made 25 copies of back in 09 is worth? He takes it out of my hand. See ya. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Dime, you ain't gonna believe this. Guy was looking at the car and he ran out of the show with it. I think he's out in the parking lot. Let's go get him. Yeah, I know. Last time I went to pick up the barbecue, I came back. I had to stand and eat it while all the dimes customers were in the seats eating our food that we bought. <laughs> I'm like, this is some buttery bullshit. I got to stand up and eat my food in the corner? Try not to drip sauce on my dollar cards? This is some straight up David Copperfield shit. I don't know if Michael Barr was here. He was here the other day. Michael Barr, are you here? I'm just going to shoot you an email. I don't mind stealing bread. All right, Adam is going to try 23-24 Prism Hobby Blaster times four. I heard Big Lou was like you. He's on meds too. Down to seven left in that update break. I'm going to see if Michael uh, Barr wants to move into that. Michael Barr, if you are here, uh, I hit you up. Now Adam Flo is going to try four of those 23-24 prism drafts. Adam, I'll go grab it. I open it to make sure it is what it ain't. Everybody cool?
If you've been in business for at least one year with an average monthly revenue of twenty thousand dollars, you can receive business funding with only twenty-four. That's what the receipt says. Pink deep V. <laughs> That's the way they wrote it. Regardless of your personal credit score, there's no obligation and zero out Oh, I'm missing text here. All right, let me grab that. Is Adam here? Adam, let me know if you want to pick a roll if you're here, man. Actually, somebody just pulled up. to the show. Oh yeah, some BBD. Oh, there he is, surreal. Here we go. Adam's going to try four. Adam, this was a sealed case. I just got it in a day. I opened it to take a picture of one of the boxes for the website and verify it was the Hobby Blaster, and it was. So, should be four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty of these things. There are a lot of them. All right, this is uh, Adam Surreal F. Adam, we're going to say we're going to go this way. One, actually, we'll go this way since there's more. 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20. Top to bottom. 16. 16. 5. 5, 16, 19. 5, 6. 15, 16, 19. Right? I do that right? 5, 6, 15, 16, 19. 5, 6, 15, 16. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't have a fifth one. You had, there was no 16. It was 519. You have four boxes. Let me verify that. There was no 16. For some reason, I was thinking you ordered five, but it was four. I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. I got them. Joey, you're not coming down. Your flight was canceled. <laughs> Those are my lucky numbers. to getting his first quadruple double. I, feel, I got a feeling he's going to have multiple in his career. He was so close. Two assists, one block. 
And they dang near almost beat the Nuggets. Those big dogs. All right, here's box one. Plane got a flat. <laughs> they gave me whatnot promotion. Sorry for the inconvenience. Here's 25 off your next whatnot purchase. James Najee should get three of these greens. Actually, it looks like he got more than three, but I think it said three. Reggie, we're going to Jackson. Actually, that's a regular green. And then three of the Shimmer Greens. Joel Embiid. You got Noah Clowney. You got a Silver of SGA. KD. Max Christie. Larry Bird. There's another regular green. Color Match. Larry Bird. Get both versions in here. Since let's first box of this I've opened. Asora Thompson, Jalen Duran, and Mini Joker. Box two. <laughs> Joey, a Amtrak ticket. Take the train. Alright, here we go. Box two. Silver of Barnes. Curry. Tyrese Maxey, James Harden, uh, Vucevic, so it looks like you get five green, two regular and three of those shimmers, Kobe Bufkin, Spencer Dinwiddie, Silver, Petrasha, Sissoko, Dylan Brooks, Bogdan, Bogdanovich, and a deep space, Giannis. Luca. Box three. I think we'll get a victor out of one of these last two boxes. Victor Webbing. Mitchell Green, you got a silver Kobe Bufkin, Emergent Prism, Pat Beverly, Taylor Hendricks, hey you got a true silver rookie, Maxwell Lewis, Maxwell the Pig, Hunter Tyson, Joel Embiid, Philippe Petrusov,
Hey, didn't we just get Spencer Dinwiddie Silver? Mike Miles Jr. You got that bird, that one in green, and then you get a Jimmy Butler green. All right, last chance for romance. Joey, you ain't coming. Plane got canceled for real. What's up, Razor's Edge? Brandon? I'll be there sober. What time are you getting there, Jelly? When are you going coming into town? Last one, Adam. So much green. Tobias Harris. Marcus tried to sass her. Ja Morant. Keontae George, the Jet. Jalen McDaniel, silver. There's Maxwell. You got the silver and the regular. Joker. Manu Ginobili. Noah Clowney Green. And you did get the instant impact, so we did get one victor out of the four. Not his true rookie, but instant impact rookie. Victor Webinyama of Kevin Knox and Nick Smith. Alright, this is all the greens. You got greens everywhere. One true silver. One true silver rookie. Uh, Sawyer Thompson. So your instant impact rookies were nice. Surreal. Adam. Thanks, man. There you go, Adam. Hello. Joey, when are you heading back? Sunday or Monday? <clears throat> I was going to drive back Monday morning. I heard it's easy like Sunday morning, but I'm going to do it Monday morning. It's easy like Sunday morning.
Michael Barr, I hit you back. It's easy like Sunday morning. All right, caught up again, folks. If anybody else cares for a uh, cares for a personal. Find some cards you like. What's up, Irving? How's it going, dude? How's it going? Irving said he would pay Monday. Of course, it's Wednesday. No response to two emails and no payment. Isn't that funny? I'll pay Monday, I promise. I'm a Cracker Matt. What's going on, dude? It was your birthday not too long ago, am I right? Oh, I ran out of that one, Matt. That is contacted because of the earthquake there. Oh, is, is that area good? Irving? Irving? Let me get this batch. I got the first batch uploaded. I think I'm going to get this batch going. Um, I am caught up again. If anybody else cares for personal, that tops update that we put up has seven left. Michael Barr switched over to Series 2, but he's a uh, jumbo, but he's not breaking. He wanted it ship sealed. So I am caught up again. Anybody going to do those last three sterling? Oh, 
I got those videos going. Anything I can package another sealed one and several regular ones. If anybody cares for anything, let me know. I gotta grab it. Oh, it's over here. I'm easy like Sunday morning. What time is it? Man, that's almost five o'clock. It's getting late early.
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Here, but I did we'll go ahead and print it. Oh, thanks, Scott Stu. Seems like it got quiet in the last 20 or 30 minutes. I'll probably hang out for a little longer, see if we get any more action. If not, call it a day. What else would you call it? Oh, I forgot I still gotta do that. What would be free? Oh man, I gotta grab those boxes.
Nothing. <laughs> this is about our dream of doing nothing. Um, Scott, no plans. This is about me and our dream of doing nothing. I still gotta grab those boxes. Keyboard, you gotta play the lottery and win it tonight, okay? It's not that hard. It's only one in 273 million. Why not you?
Oh, Ramon, you're going to try a space jam? Okay. Um, I think there's 10 of them out there. I don't know. I'll roll for it, Ramon G. Ramon's going to try one of those uh, uh, Space Jam hobby boxes. I'll grab the third one down. I think there's 10 of them. They were out on the shelf, but they're not. They were in the back in a case. <laughs> Last one of these we opened, Ramon, we got a really cool Bugs Bunny sketch. That's what I remember. You can get LeBron autograph if you get lucky. All right, Ramon G's doing, I rolled for it. But, well, I guess I could roll again. Since it's from a fresh and from a different case. Oh, man, that blade is never here. I need 30 blades stacked up right here. Two, three left, four, five, six, right. Right side. One to five left, six to ten right. one from a fresh.
<laughs> Down to hell you go. You know you can buy the lottery tonight if you want to. It's only like five hundred and fifty million dollars. Anybody want to go out and buy it? Nobody else wins it with you, or you're screwed. Actually, you may break even if one other person won it. Because they would have to split 1.1 billion, and you would have to split 1.1 billion. So you would get your 550 back, plus all the prizes you would win that were close. If you get five numbers right and no Powerball, it's a million dollars. You would get every combo of that. You would get every combo of four numbers right with the Powerball, minus one of the main numbers. And then, of course, you would get every combo of four numbers, three numbers, and every Powerball. So, yeah, you could basically buy the lottery tonight and break even, around even, maybe make a couple bucks if... Only one, you and one other person won it because you're guaranteed to win it. You bought it. But if nobody else hits it, you make $500 million. <laughs> I can be your key. What, come in on heavy sort days only? Bugs Bunny? Never heard of him. That's not exactly true. We were like brothers. Porky Pig. That dude. Team Bugs. Gossamer. Duck season? I thought it was Wabbit season. Marvin the Martian. Elmer Fudd with a panini chip. I don't know how that got there. Porky again. Yosemite Sam. Tweety. He taught he saw a putty tat. Bugs Bunny Lenticular. Granny. Film Cell, Speedy Gonzalez, Court Relic, Speedy played on that, Game Used, Speedy Gonzalez did indeed play on that chunk of court, The Brow, Elmer's Fud, Fear, Uncertainty, and Doubt, Bugs Bunny, Granny, Marvin the Martian. All right, and that will do, sir. You got a re you got a court relic, a film cell, and a lenticular. Ramon G. Thanks, buddy. You get to write out the five hundred fifty million you spent, though, Matt. That five fifty goes toward all your winnings because that would be a loss. Does that make sense? So after they calculate up all your winnings, you get to subtract the five fifty that you already invested into it. So then you just get the winnings, and then you pay taxes on that, right? I heard McDonald's and them are paying 16 an hour now in California. Is that true? Or, like, that's the bottom, the minimum is 16? Or is it higher?
<laughs> you a tax professional, eh? I'm not a tax professional, but if you, I know if like say, you go to a slot machine and you invest five thousand dollars into it, and you win five thousand back, you break even. You pay no taxes. If you put two dollars in the slot machine and you win five thousand dollars, you pay taxes on four thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight of it because you only invested two to win the five thousand. So you subtract the two out of the winnings. So if you won the lottery for one point one billion, you'd have to add in all the side prizes because you bought it. So you have every combination. You'd have to add in all the millions that you won as the side prizes. Let's just say it all totaled one point three billion. Well, you would win $1.3 billion minus the $570 million you invested. So you would have to pay taxes on $800,000. Of which that would be at a high rate of 37%. Depending on what state, you might have to add on another 10% for state tax. You get about half of that chopped away. With the taxes on the eight hundred, dollars you still clear about three dollars to $400,000. <clears throat> I think, but I'm not a tax professional, <laughs> but I think that's how it works. So that's what I'm saying. You could buy it just for simplistic reasons. Say you spent 600 million and bought the lottery and let's just say it's 1.1 billion and all your side prizes are another hundred million dollars. So you won 1.2 billion. You subtract the five six hundred million you spent, and you pay taxes on the six hundred thousand six hundred million. Now I don't know how that would work because they do it in an annuity over twenty years. Because if you take the lump sum, you're taking a big chunk out of it too. So somebody get Elon to go buy the damn thing and let's see his tax form, so we can figure it out. Somebody get Elon or Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or somebody. They got that kind of cash. All right, that's done. Still caught up again. I think it depends on the state. You'd have to classify yourself as a professional gambler, but that would be true. If you won the lottery tonight, now granted you'd have to take the lump sum to get the cash, so you're going to cut it in half right there. Then you have to pay taxes on the half, right? So say you pay taxes on the half of 1.2 would be 600, so that would leave you about 300 million. Then say you had gambled 200 million. <laughs> I think you get to write it off towards the taxes that you paid on the original six. As long as it's in the same calendar year. But speak to a tax professional. When you, when you win the lottery tonight, talk to a tax professional. They'll help you. It's something to do with winning winnings against losses, but you can't take a zero. Like, for instance, if I put $10 in a slot and I win a $1,500, and then that whole year I lose another $5,000, well, they're going to send the IRS is going to send you a W-2 for the $1,500 you won. Not a W-2. Uh, I forget which W it is, but they send you a 1099 gambling form that you won $1,500. But if you show on your win-loss statement at MGM you lost $5,000 that year, they can take the fifteen hundred off your taxes. You don't pay any taxes on the fifteen hundred. Now you can't write off the thirty five hundred extra you lost. You can't write that off anything. But you can. You don't have to pay taxes on the fifteen hundred because you show that you lost five thousand later throughout that calendar year gambling. Something like that. Look it up. Same thing in the stock market. You buy a stock and you 10 X's, but then you gamble over all that money that you 10 x away and buying and selling throughout the year. You don't pay any taxes because you didn't make any money, even though you 10 X one stock.
be a nice headache to have trying to figure out the walls of it after you win. After you win a billion dollars, it would be a fun thing to have loss. <laughs> that sounds like Shaq trying to argue that the gas is cheaper if you fill it at half empty. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> What's up, Ed Ram? You've actually won in Vegas before, uh, I'm a Cracker Matt? How'd that feel? I don't know that feeling. I've won before. But those bastards get it all back before I leave the door. They're good. Yeah, I know. I remember that rant. Uh, I remember the game show or whatever <laughs> from Billy Madison. I remember that movie. It was funny. Anybody else does care? What time is it? Eh, it's getting late. It's almost 5.30. Um, if anybody else does care for a personal, I can do it now. That uh, late baseball break we put up, we'll have to do that tomorrow probably. That Chrome Hobby Update Jumbo Breakers Delight. That one's got seven left. We'll probably have to do that one tomorrow. Um, what do you play, Matt? Just poker? If you play poker, that's smart. Sure, you can run you can run into coolers and you know just have a bad run, but as long as you understand the game at a pretty decent to high level, you can you can especially you, you can win. There's actually strategy to it versus just blackjack or something. Well, blackjack there's strategy too. Versus roulette. Oh, okay, you're not playing poker. Yep. I hit this one, man. I don't know if you saw it. I'll show it to you. First time I've ever, first time I've ever been in a casino for two days, and maybe one other time I left with like a little bit of change. This is the first time in at a casino that I played for two nights and left with their money. I think I got the image right here. Somewhere. Man, got a lot of pictures in here. A lot of pictures of cards and a bunch of pictures from that trip. The first time I ever left with their money. $7.50 bet. Wins? Four thousand seven hundred thirty nine dollars and forty cents don't get me wrong i gave a couple thousand of that back but i left with their money <laughs> i was like damn i didn't know you could do this you can leave with their money That was actually, I'm going this weekend to the Chantilly show, and we were at the something harbor in Maryland, the MGM, which I'll be going back this weekend again, but we're going to the Chantilly show, and at night we hit up the casino. That was the last time I was in Chantilly, I think in October. I create photo albums, but it still leaves them in the main photos, which I don't like. 
I've done that. Create a photo album. Oh, there's there's what all filled in for me to win. I had no idea what was going on in this game. It was the Cleopatra game, and I never played it. But each one of those lines that fill up, you win that cash on the right. And plus the money and the balls in the middle. So... And if you get a green arrow, a green thing, it bumps you, it opens up the next line. So I hit it for, I missed the 125, but I hit it for 250. I missed the 375, but it greened up. And then that whole level above that filled up, which opened up the next one. So anyway, I won 927 on that one. And then that green ball, that green ball won for 2,977.16. I was one ball away from hitting the mania, which the mania was an extra $4,900. It's at the very top. I don't know what the money was, but I think that was like the big, big one. But had I hit that ball, I get three more spins and I already had three of the balls and money filled up. That was crazy. I had no clue what was going on. The damn thing just kept saying, you're winning, you're winning. I'm like, oh, I am? <laughs> yeah, I've never seen it before. I played the old school Cleopatra. This was one of those ones that, that had the balls and it does all this weird stuff if you get the bonus. Funny thing was, I was down like seven or $800 when I got to that machine and I was like, I'm going to spend one more hundred. I put a hundred in there and I was betting seven fifty a pull and I got down to like fifty dollars or something. I'm like, ah, oh, screw this. And I hit a few fast spins and the bonus hit and I won that. I was like, spin stop, spin stop, spin stop, spin stop, something like that. And it hit. Preview of the weekend? I hope so, Joey. Slots Finity? <laughs> Sounds like my sex life. Yeah, that was the first game I ever won. One of the first games I ever won money on back in like 2001. One of the original, maybe 2002. I can't remember, it was, it was early 2000s. But anyway, that was one of the original slot machines that I actually won money on. It was a nine-line Cleopatra, which nine lines back then was a ton of lines. They used to do one, five, and nine. And you could bet, I was betting nickels. So I was betting 45 cents a pull. Which was a lot of money for me. Anyway, I remember I cashed out a machine. I was like, damn, these machines are cool. Because I was just used to the sevens and the cherries and the bars and those type games. Shay with the A and Vanilla with the 9. Yeah, I'm still caught up. I was going to hang out till about 530 and see if we got any other action, but it looks like it's done for today, guys. So I think I'm going to jump off a bridge. Um, that's pretty smart, Matt. The fun part about gambling is it's fun, but if you do it every day, all day, it can be very, it can get very expensive very quickly. Unless you're winning. I thought I was a king when I went in 100. <laughs> I've done that before, T-Bar. Oh, yep, you too, Ed Ram. See you later, dude. See you, Fong. See you, Matt. T-Bar, Pathora Dean, Joey B, Ed Ram. And that's the latest commenters, Nick G. 
and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow if you swing by. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for coming by, hanging out, shooting the shit. Chris R.